Hi guys, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you'd like to watch my playthrough from the beginning, I will make sure to have the first part linked below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get back into it. Let's attend Beast class. Let's go to class before I get expelled. Hello Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin cruel. Ugh, it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. Hmm. There's so much we don't know about beasts. So much to learn. Oh, hello, cutie. Oh, why is it stuttering so bad? Oh. Wow. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Good class. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. Yes. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Is this something we should be learning in school? Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use, hmm? Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. All right. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Okay. Bombarda. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. I like it. Textbook execution. Bravo. Thank you. Wait, do I need to keep talking to her? Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? I was wondering, what inspired your interest in magical beasts? Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? You could say. I haven't decided quite yet, but I do find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts in class. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject, as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. Hmm. 
I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling Okami eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the Okami, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Okami could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. What type of beast is an Okami? It is a spectacular beast. A feathered, winged serpent-like creature mm. that can grow or shrink to fit a particular space. Its eggs are made of pure silver, hence the desire to trade in them. Seems quite a challenge, finding an Okami in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow. And there, inside, was a nest with seven silver Okami eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even one cause. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head. Breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learned to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life, and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. She's pretty cool. Quests. Um. Oh. Poppy should be right here. She is. Well, I have to wait for her. It's not like her to forget. She didn't forget. I just have to wait here. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Graham told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Uh oh. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to <clears throat> Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. Mm. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Okay. Well done. You certainly know Damn. what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Just gonna lay on the nice wintertime cobblestone street. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Mm. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. All right. <laughs> Have a good night, Spartan. I'm glad you enjoyed your, your gaming sesh. <laughs> that sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once Why do you hate all. her hair? <laughs> 
I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Yeah. I feel like we should go invisible and just deliver the egg. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. Oh, it looks shit. as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. The straight cut off at the shoulders with no textures. Is your nails on chalkboard? <laughs> Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Poor thing must be going sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Don't worry, hot dragon. It'll magically reappear. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be a demigod right now. What is worth? She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. I wonder how many they brought to catch her. Man, she got caught. Did the bombarda thing. What was that sound? Oh, did she, what? Did she throw a cabbage or something? There she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. I mean, I do be looking like a sheep with all this wool clothing on me. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. The hell is that? Quiet, what was that? I didn't hear anything. Oh my god. Run! <laughs> 
I don't understand why we didn't go invisible. Start. Good thinking, but she'd still be a small Uh oh. Never mind. I appreciate them telling me. Keep at it. We can still make it to the next. Oh, she isn't making it easy. A warm welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Uh, I don't suppose you'd listen to reason. Uh, Dude, was that a different dragon? And she she's shooting doubles now. Get to that opening below her. Every bridge here broken. I'm waiting now, for something we just very ahead, loud to we happen. Can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Imagine it eats Poppy. She's like, I gotta get a new fucking nest. You repaired all the bridges. was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed she tried to kill us creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Hmm? Should have made an omelet. <laughs> have a good night, Vigo. How could I have been so blind? Oh, bye, Poppy. Mm-hmm. 
feed the Thestral offspring. Alright. Oh, really? Which one am I taking care of? Oh, this little baby one. Hey Raz, how are you? Make it perpetually fall. Yeah. Or be able to enjoy like summertime sun. I should let Deke know about when the you new want festival. to. Quest available. Talk to Poppy. Speak with Dick. Hello, Dick. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all mm. beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke <gasps> stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Oh, Deke often good. wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Oh, there's a hammer up there. Oh. See, if I was a witch, I would just use my magic for food. <laughs> Zero calorie, I know delicious food, when I see and one. I just eat as much as I want. Cute little Hamlet. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Sure. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his Hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages <clears throat> to help. But they've gone missing. Hmm. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Sure. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. All right. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. 
I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcraft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. <laughs> Sounds like Feldcraft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Kidnapped ca cabbage. You'll not cast successfully if you don't foresee it happen in your own world. I'm not sure. Welcome, welcome. Uh, do have a look around. Such a cute little place. You can't imagine how inconvenient. Be ha strong, Alexandra. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. Ugh. Interesting. I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone <clears throat> wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try. I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so Take concerned. Them. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. Who's Barnabas the Barmy? Surely you've seen oh, the tapestry no. of him at Hogwarts. A three hour it hangs in the seventh oh, no. floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. It would be like an iron golem in Minecraft for a village. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no! I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Hmm. Under the troll's den. Am I gonna kill her troll? A troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. Hmm. Seems like we're about to fight a troll. I think I'll save. I know yesterday someone said... Maybe it was today. Yeah, it was today. Someone said every time they fight a troll, their game crashes. But it was on console. I still haven't done a save in a while, so... Alexander's troll. Oh boy. Right. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Oh, pretty sunset.
the fuck over. Can't throw it back at them because I stupefy. Okay, he teleported. Throw the rocks back. It's my favorite thing. It's throwing them back. Block yourself. I hate it when I hold down the button, machine. But the hamlet needed to be saved from that troll. <sighs> Sorry, troll. I think I want to do part of the main quest after this. Because sometimes those main quest stories take a bit. 
It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Imagine I wish she was things could have turned out differently for him. Your whole training plan was doomed. <laughs> there wasn't much he could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Troll Whisperer. Troll Slayer. Vanquisher. Vanquisher? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own, but truly... Thank you for what you did. Hmm. The Troll Vanquisher. I suppose I did earn the title. Oh, look at that! Very nice. Wonder who lives here. Okay, let's meet up with Sebastian. like a place right out of a storybook. Wait! Oh, I didn't know this was here. Another hamlet. Oh, Milo. What am I to do? Is there something I can help you with? Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I had known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I think he did deserve it. I have to do a playthrough where I, I say, like, the mean things. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the Absconder. The Absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the Acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch uh, so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... Uh, I Aww. fled. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. This is just so atmospheric. Desmond! With the 18 months. Wait, no! 20 months with the 18 month streak. Desmond, welcome back. Thank you so much for the 20. I hope you're good. Whoa! Such arrogance! Bombarda! Confringo! I don't care about them. I thought my owl might pique your interest. Not sure what I did to deserve that. <laughs> Confringo. Bombarda. I can't. <laughs> oh my God, is it gonna make me go find that guy? Nah, we're good. We're chilling. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous in the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? 
I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Mm. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still yeah. have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Out. Wait, no, with the goblins, I like to use Expelliarmus and then throw their weapons back at them. Come on, Sebastian. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. Wizard kind will submit. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. I cleared this out earlier in the game. I was just exploring. Revelio. Is it crazy? This is learning? going well. We make a good team. Mm -hmm. We do at that. I definitely want to do an evil run Once where again, I use the unforgettable fight our way through, we'll be discreet. You know which one I'd choose? Perhaps we can find an alternate route up ahead. Sneaking around has its appeal? Relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. I have to agree.
into the mines. For better or for worse, we're in. You're running. Time to go beast mode. <laughs> I won't rest. <laughs> All of this mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Ew, 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 spiders, why? Uh, G Time Soul, thank you for the follow. Welcome back. Hi. Not your best moment, I fear. Ah. 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 How many of Ranrock's loyalists are in here? Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Hmm. Nasty. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Mm-hmm. Levioso. Or Leviosa. We got you, Leviosa. Leviosa. Oh, nice celebration. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or Stop. the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. I was worried that the bridge broke just then. Okay. Ugh. Of course, I have to go first. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Okay, big cave. <laughs> What's this way? Campfire. Literally, spiders are half the enemies in this game. I don't like it.
We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. <laughs> Extreme. <laughs> Lumos. Lumos. There must be some big loot. Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Quick with it, Sebastian. Goblins down there. Why don't they have to deal with the spiders? We've still not seen a single room. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised?
There's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known. A rune symbol <laughs> above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. This place gives me the heebie jeebies. Confringo! I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rune symbols. that it's starting to feel like a trial the world floated back to me as if in a watery haze how long had i been unconscious i only remember his eyes empty empty of sorrow yes but also I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. Uh oh. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Another passageway. We should search the room first. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Damn, look at that book. It's a thick ass book. I'm seeing the symbols on the walls. Rebellion. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can... Oh. <laughs> Now for the moment oh, thank of truth. Okay, good, good, good. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Ween has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Is 
Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Hi, yo, yo. Hmm. Should we do this one? Later, bozo. Yeah, ha. me first. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Only I would be so passive aggressive to an NPC in a video game. Hello there. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. You're stalking He's me? He's me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. Oh my god. So I will meet you there. Rebellion. Dude, why can I not just get out my broomstick and go? <laughs> A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me mm. locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. 
Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join <clears throat> you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Okay. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. What? Well, Amit and I can do this. I will await your return. Alright. I shall <laughs> see you soon. Let's go on. The door is looking at us. Clever. Oh, right. Aw, thanks, Snaps. It's been fun. The mind's eye. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I'll be quiet. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. All right, I'm meeting this and get over real quick. I can't. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Keep your wits about your meat. I'll get you through this mine. Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Akio! Who's there? No one. Watch your step round here. Where have those plans gone? I had schematics in my hand a moment ago. I 
Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Watch your step round here. Ranrock is sure to appreciate the extra work we're doing. I won't. me down! Bombarded. Oh, what a human. Ready, I'll get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be a schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. I'm curious. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Let's find out. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large, but what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. We'll replay what is rightfully ours. My sneak isn't very high. I don't think I'm going to get past these guys. So, let's find it out.
much. Stay close. Sorry, I me. Which was another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Devil snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. I'm not gonna not to entanglement we need right now. I think we could sneak through this part. I think they're split up enough to be able to shoot that one that's coming to check it out too. Oh my god, hello? Oh, I've been at this for hours. There we go. Oh, there's a What do we even need to do in here? Hmm. Let's see what's this way.
Should be the last of them, Armit. Clever. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger mm. than this mine could contain. Let's I've get out of there and tell Lovegok what we found. I've literally seen one of these before. How do we add... I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. Fair. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. It's probably traumatized, poor guy. Out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Oh, she's just pointing it out that we were back at the beginning. Let's go. Um, can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> it was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your <laughs> goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Sure. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. 
She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. Mm. And I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? Mm. I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. Mm. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. I believe Getting my mail. next room upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. <gasps> Come by Witches as soon as you can. All right. And with that, I think I will call it here for tonight. Hi, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of my content, you can always catch me when I'm live on Twitch at She's Emma. You can be a part of the Cozy Crew. We'd love to have you here, so make sure you follow me on there, and I hope to see you in the next stream.